happy Deepavali for for those in uh, celebrating Deepavali. So champions, welcome to welcome to another episode of Walk with Anton, uh, the positive guy. So I guess you know where I am right now. I'm somewhere near the airport, uh, Changi Airport. See, I just uh, check in during the at the counter earlier on. So come have a walk with me. I'm I'm in the airport, just on my way back to my hometown in Malaysia to uh, spend time with my, with my family. Because uh, there's a holiday coming on this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So before I <clears throat> before I want to go into the transit area, I still have a little bit of time with me. So let's do a little positive sharing video, okay? Shall we? So what type of topic do we do need to share today? Hmm. Well, friends, interesting enough, I want to share with you is. You know, we have a family discussion meeting with a few of my members in Singapore, because we used to have a discussion meeting in every once in this every Saturday, every month. So, in, during the discussion meeting, we're having a topic talking about actual proof. As you can know, I'm a practitioner of Buddhism, and if you ever heard of this, it, it's Nichiren Daishonin Buddhism. So, in this Buddhism, we learn about the philosophies of people. So, how do we show actual proof? To other people, well, there are a few people sharing during that among a group. So one of the this one, one uncle called Mr. Francis, he shared his uh, his positive point of view about his actual proof for practicing this Buddhism philosophy. He said that during his work time, he was being bullied by his superior, but because of his sincere and persevere, uh, although he was keep on bully, he was being bullied, and. Frankly, uh, he wanted to give up the job, but eventually he didn't give up the job. He persevered into it because he know that he doing the right thing, and the people who bully him in the in the in the job section. Uh, those are people trying trying to be they're trying to be political lah. And this uncle at the end, uh, he almost he almost lost his job because people trying to like push him out of the push him out from the team. You see. So, because of his uh, sincere persevere, um, the superior uh, was uh, amazed that there's another, you know, another top management people in on top of another persevere, uh, so another superior superior management people. In instead of want this uh, uncle to stay along with the job, although uh, a lot of people were gossip about him, say that. Uh, he is too old, uh, he cannot work anymore, he cannot work long hours, and cannot. he is too weak for this job. People trying, wanted him to quit because uh, they having their own political issue. Uh. But uh, in the end, this uncle was very sincere about his job, so he didn't, he didn't, he didn't give up the job. He tried to spoke to his uh, manager, and the manager, in fact, uh, in the manager, in fact, like, accepted it. His uh, his sincere thoughts. So he stay uh, stay along in the game. Uh, he stay along in the job instead of people trying to bully him out. But instead, he stay along with the team. And the manager says that whoever wants to bully this person, he has to go through me. Wow, that is very powerful, man. <laughs> this uncle has a good protection. The uh, people in his environment. Oh, this is one and uh, one uh, interesting sharing. But uh, what is the what is the actual proof uh, perspective for me is um, I always say that I will show attitude. You know, I'm always facing a lot of problems in my job. Difficulties, obstacles, people, relations, uh, problems, financial problems. You know, when you work in the office in a big company, you always get this kind of uh, uh, environment, you know, you know what I mean. So, 
my 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 personal view of uh, actual purpose practicing this Buddhism is always show the positive uh, behavior and attitude. That's why I call myself the that positive guy because I always think of positive uh, direction ways. I always think of the bright side, and that's what people always uh, always told me. Why are you always so positive? We we know that we know our job is very like um, very very not very not very good. I don't want to say the S word, but a lot of people complain about the job is too tough. People, the, the, the job flows keep on going and people keep on rushing. But instead, you are always keeping a smile on your face. Why? Why are you, why you act like this way? One well, of the first thing I told people is say that, well, it's not because of what the job is not good, because I always have a positive attitude within me. The reason that we have a tough job because nobody wants to do that job. That's why we are, we are the one that have been hired by this company to do such a job. It's a, uh, it's, it's a very, very, very powerful answer. Nobody wants to do the job, but we are the only ones to do that job. Wow. So my colleague, my colleague, which is who is uh, always complaining about his role and always complaining about uh, his customers. After listening to this, he will, he, he will keep quiet. In uh, another session, I always tell people that because I think life is, we only have, we only have one life in our living. So why not we live our life in a more positive way? I know sometimes environment can get very tough and very nasty to us. But if we, if we keep along follow, following the nasty trail, of course things will get more nasty, is it? So whenever when things doubting you or, or your environment might, be, might become very unfair to you, but as long as your attitude shows, people will feel that you are very different. You really can change the environment with your, with yourself. You don't wait for the environment to change. You change the environment. This is one of the philosophy that in our our uh, uh, in our phrase in our Buddhism study practice is um, become like a lotus blossom. You know the lotus the lotus blossom that blooms in the muddy swamp. Yeah, this is the the this is an example of this type of uh, environment. Our environment, our environment is always unfair, always nasty, and it's always like disgusting in our society as well. But as long as we always keep a positive mind and a positive thinking and a right attitude, with justice, it's like we are we are shine through the environment. We are like the lotus blossom that blooms in the muddy swamp. Uh, maybe I can start another episode to explain this more detail. By the way. I just saw this uh, decoration here. It, you can see it. There's a muddy elephant, mummy elephant that blows water from a from a tree trunk to a little dumbo, a little jumbo. Oh yeah, this, which reminds me, Deepavali is on the is on the way. So happy happy Deepavali, happy Deepavali for for those in, uh, celebrating Deepavali. Okay, back to yeah. Changi Airport always have uh, interesting decorations in every season. So back to our little sharing. Yeah, that's what. That is, uh, I just want to keep it a simple sharing. Uh. I don't want to drag my video too long always. And this is uh, I, the reason I want to stay always stay positive is because I want to show people the different perspective of looking at life. I understand that sometimes in our homes, in our workplace schools or maybe any any places else on earth especially uh, is on earth <laughs> everywhere we go people always have a uh, negative thoughts they always complain about the government they always complain about their spouse their parents their children uh, sometimes they always uh, people always have a lot to complain about but one thing people doesn't have to complain about is them themselves you get what i mean they themselves, they never complain about themselves. They always complain about others. I, I have a lot of colleagues also like that. I always complain. Although on how much things I prepare, I try to make it well, make it correct. But instead, people still doubt that you are not doing enough. You're not doing the good thing. You're not doing what we wanted. I think that's human nature. But I, I always 
keep in the positive mindset of for myself is yeah people always have a uh, unsatisfaction but it's the unsatisfaction that always keep us keep on growing you see without this unsatisfaction or and, and, uh, people criticizing you never notice uh, how much we will grow from there so i kind of like uh thank very thankful those people always keep complaining <laughs> uh, i have a positive thought there so for those people always think negative always criticize uh, people you should thankful for them because they can they 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 say the honest word uh, and they say some way of the words that really can make you think twice that where did you do wrong and where can you improve from there so that's how uh, one individual can grow from from uh, from the, uh, one level to another level okay I think it's getting pretty late I need to find a place to rest now and I still have another hour to go before I go into my transit area so I hope uh, this little sharing can interest you during my little waiting for my for my plane to arrive okay so I catch you all I yeah stay cool and subscribe the channel and I will share with you another short video of sharing about positive thinking so next time catch with me walk with Anton and uh, that positive guy so catch you all later and in another see you all in the next episode okay ciao